I'm Muhammad Hazar bin Jamaluddin. So today I will share uh, about the strategies to publish in high impact journals. So these strategies are based on my own experience. Also some of the notes are taken from other with, uh, with some citations. So who am I? So my name is uh, Muhammad Hazar bin Jamaluddin. I'm uh, from Wireless Communication Center, High, Center, High COE, School of Electrical Engineering, UTM. I'm also a, a college principal of uh, College Kaman Putra. So my fields uh, are on communication engineering and antenna design. So this uh, my latest uh, information uh, about my publications. So I have published almost 180 uh, total of publications, which include journals, uh, Scopus journal, ISI journals, uh, books, uh, book chapters, uh, conference papers, and others. So from this number, so I published almost 100 journals, which include uh, uh, 60 ISI journals, and my current Scopus index is 16. So here where I work, uh, which is a high center of uh, excellence, wireless communication center, it is located at P15 uh, in School of Electrical Engineering. So these are some of my uh, fields, main fields on uh, dielectric resonator antenna, which is made by uh, a substrate uh, antenna, which operate at uh, LTE and maybe 5G applications. So, so we have uh, a good uh, equipment inside our uh, building here. So uh, who am I? So besides, I'm actively as a researcher, so I'm also yeah, actively uh, doing exercise both with uh, running, jogging every day. So my achievement, I think uh, uh, I have run about a uh, half marathon. So maybe one day I can go for the uh, full marathon. So I'm also an active chess player, but I stopped it during this uh, pandemic. Uh, okay. uh, I represent Johor uh, nearly uh, at, at uh, Malaysia, but, but I stopped uh, at one level. I think I stopped uh, I just enough to represent Johor. So I'm also an active researcher, not only on publication, actively involved with uh, grant application, uh, competition. I won a few uh, competition. So the measures here, okay, besides you are targeting for publication, for your graduation, so in life, there are many things to do and many things to explore. So in life, do what you like, what you love, your hobby, what you do, uh, like, you do it. So inshallah, it, when you're happy, so it will affect your uh, daily life. One of the more important things is to take care of your health. If you are sick, stop it. Yeah. Uh, and make your, uh, your body recover. If you are really, really sick, you cannot do anything. Your work will stop. Nothing you can do. So take care of your health. And then after that, when you are happy, when you have a, a good health, uh, you can go and get your success. Okay, so that's what just introduction. Uh, so this is my outlines for specifically uh, strategies for publication in high impact journal. To start with introduction, why you publish in IEEE journals, uh, four wife and one husband, uh, submission and reviewing process, how to write IEEE letter and uh, IEEE maybe open access, and tools and resources. So something to ponder here is 
your work is not complete until you publish it don't stop until you publish it so so let's start writing so however writing scientific article is a skill that can be acquired by knowing the techniques and by doing some practice you need to do practice read other paper uh, other papers read other journals and practice 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 so here there are maybe uh, some tips of writing uh, and so now let's know how to do it and then after that you just uh, do it another something to think before you start writing so look at what you have right now on your research work whether it is stable to publish or to start writing or not compare them with results from other papers if you are have a superior uh, paper then you can start writing if not so look at the different aspect where uh, your paper is better so maybe there are some uh, slight advantages so you can uh, publish else continue your research work in order to get some uh, superior results so else if send manuscript to a conference or low rank journal so if you are targeting maybe q1 q2 then uh, maybe with the, the initial results you can publish in conference or even a lower uh, q4 journal so where you want to refer for uh, where you want to publish so there are many online citation data database so utm only approved for web of science and scopus there are only two uh, citation database that uh, we are referring so we have also google scholar and many more and but normally because the easiest one we can refer to google scholar then after that you can go to scopus and web of science utm subscribe with this online citation database and you can see uh, the different type of journals you can see the ranking and you can choose which uh, journal you want to publish if you are targeting for q1 journal you can go and check at the web of science maybe on that year maybe sometimes uh, in, in this year the journal is q1 then maybe next year is q2 or maybe this year is q1 then next year is out from the uh, web of science so you need to check uh, the status of the paper so here you can also track your performance if you have published uh, before you can uh, track your uh, performance especially on the H, H index the number of journal published the impact factors the quartile okay so in quartile you have q1 quartile one quarter two quarter three quarter quartile four so you can check and, and choose your journal what is high impact journal okay so you are targeting high impact journal maybe q1 q2 journal okay it's a breakthrough contribution in a field that has been under study so other people has uh, already studied but you find a very nice uh, results uh, a breakthrough contribution to that field and then you can publish it and of course you are targeting for high impact factor so it is very depend on your field and normally we are in utm we are targeting isl journal for q1 and q2 journals so how you want to publish a high uh, quality journal so bad quality research will not produce high quality papers but good quality research will not necessarily produce high quality paper so you need a good combination of high quality research and high quality writing and then you can publish in high quality paper okay so the formula is easy so you have a high quality research and high quality writing then you can publish high quality paper but but 
based on my own experience okay if you have um, let's say a medium quality of research plus high quality of writing you can still publish in high quality paper plus luck okay so because different reviewer will have will give different views on your uh, paper so my overall tips uh, for today's strategies is based on the four wife and one husband so you before you publish you need to ask why you want to publish what you uh, the things you want to publish when you want to publish where and how you want to publish it okay so let's start now so of course you have the main reason why you want to uh, publish your paper so number one maybe you are about your about the fame you want to be recognized by peers internationally peers internationally recognized as top two percent scientists so currently just uh, two or three weeks ago in utm there are few top scientists uh, in utm listed as the top two percent scientists in the world so you want to have higher citations for me uh, just now i show you is uh, for scopus i only able to have 16 so i don't know uh, if i compare to the superior researcher so they may have 30 40 and more than that but i may be in the middle but the work is still in progress fortune for promotion okay uh, for grant application research funding you can get more uh, and maybe you can get incentive okay so i heard that for students also have uh, incentive 500 ringgit if they publish in q1 and q2 journal if i'm not mistaken and for lecturer also they can have uh, incentive met kpi okay so lecturer your supervisor has a kpi so they need you to publish and also in order for you to graduate you need to publish maybe uh, two journal in order for your uh, thesis submission and also maybe some of you also still uh, you are working your university you need to publish uh, in order for promotion so it's okay to uh, to be stressed uh, it's normal but you need to control your stress mister as what i said in my first slide or second slide so you need to do other uh, hobby or other things in order to control your uh, stress so this some of my uh, a couple uh, two of my uh, students uh, that have been graduated in 2016 and 2018 so uh, this based on the google scholar uh, so i think the hash index is 10 2016 graduated and 2018 seven so they have published with a good i think in our field a good papers or good journals with quite uh, i think uh, a good uh, citation here Okay. after four or five years so they are working in pakistan i think most of uh, both of them right now but they have traveled able to get uh, some job in switzerland uh, in malaysia before come back to their own country so here because uh, i'm in electrical engineering I'm also actively in uh, active in IEEE Society in Malaysia, so I suggest to publish in IEEE journals. For example, in electrical engineering, so I have listed here the latest one about twenty papers at top journals with high impact factors here. So here the list, eighteen from twenty is from IEEE. So I also check the keyword of computer science and software engineering. So from the 20 journals, uh, almost half is from IEEE. 
So it is advisable to publish in IEEE journal. In IEEE publication, so we have uh, different uh, kinds of publication, such as review, review, review survey, tutorial uh, publication, magazines, transaction and journals, letter and correspondence, conference proceeding standards and books. I think almost all is good uh, for uh, publications. And the best it will have maybe to publish in magazines, translation, letter, which is which are included as a, a journal. Okay, for example, here I think yeah, journals and magazine top cited in the fields of electrical engineering and computing. Uh, so it's advisable to publish in triple journals and magazines. So that's how, uh, uh, okay, that's why you want to publish. Then we go to what you, are, uh, you want to publish. New and original results. So there are novelty there on your results compared to others' work. You can have also the review summaries of related work. Okay, at the start of your PhD, you have read a lot. Then you can summarize of the related works, and then you can send for a publication. Next is also some knowledge advancement. Your superiority of your work compared to others. So be careful also here what not to be published. Work that is outdated, so it's not be. Uh, in interested by current research no scientific interest duplication of work and beware so sometimes if you duplicate other works maybe it, it's okay to graduate uh, but in few years maybe you got a, an email that saying this is my work uh, and be careful you can got uh, can summon uh, from the original uh, scientist. So when you want to publish, okay, at the start of your PhD, okay, so this uh, some normal work for a PhD or master by research work, okay, you start with a literature review. Then after that, you will start with a simulation and opti optimization for your, uh, what we call the, to get an initial results. Then after optimization, you got a you, uh, good results. Then you do some modeling. Okay, then uh, fabrication and measurement for engineer and end of your uh, PhD. So let's look. So in the literature review, actually you read a lot, you compare a lot and you can publish in a top journal, for example, Q1 and Q2 journal. It's not easy, but it's possible. Then you do some simulation, you have some initial results, you can send for conference or maybe a low level uh, journal as a scope journal. But then you find some contribution there on, the, on your modeling. So you go to publish in a uh, top journal. And finally, your what can I say uh, final results? You have this, this, the measurement results. You can compare with the simulation, and here you can publish in the uh, another uh, top Q1 or Q2 journals. So here some of uh, real one of the real case study uh, made by uh, my previous uh, PhD students. So here is the the normal uh, research work. So we start with a literature study, so selection of the, uh, uh, okay, some simulation here. Then we have some modeling and we design and fabricate and we do some measurement and the thesis writing. So this is the process uh, for uh, one of my uh, PhD uh, student. Okay, here, where you want to publish? 
we start. Uh, so he start with the literature review, and he got a top three. Uh, able to publish three journals uh, in Q1 and Q2 journals, and here you also have published on the initial results in the conference and scopus. Next, the modeling part, you are able to publish in Q1 journal, and then under the measurement results, uh, I can publish another two. So you can see that of whole PhD work, up to six journal can be published, although the requirement may be one journal and one conference or one scope journal uh, in order for submission in addition with a three conference uh, paper here. So where you want to publish? At the beginning of the my presentation, okay, so I have shown you that we are targeting for the high impact journal and you need to refer on the web of science. So UTM have subscribed for the web of science and you can go to library, uh, UTM library website, uh, you can, search the online database, e-journals and e-book, you click on the web of science and in the web of science, you click the journal citation reports and you browse by journal, then you can choose uh, what kind of categories you want to select. And here you can see the ranking. So just now, uh, previously I have shown you the ranking of I've triple E uh, uh, on the electrical and electronic engineering and also uh, the computer ranking. So this is the ranking. And here, for example, in terms of telecommunications, so you have the total journals for web of science is 86. So if you want to rank it in the quartile, so we have the four quartile, okay? So you divided 86 divided by four, you have a equivalent to 21 journal. That means the first 21 journal will be ranked as a Q1 journal. The next 21 journal, that means ranking 22 until 42 is ranked as a Q2 journal. And the next 43 until what, 63, 63 uh, is ranked as a uh, Q3 and the others is Q4 journals. So you rank your journal. Let's say you are targeting for a Q1 journal. So you have a few lists of your targeted journal. Here, for example, you have a, uh, I have list, uh, let's say five Q1 journals. Then after that, okay, so you need to, to see, do some research a little bit. So how long the reviewing time taken normally takes for this kind of journal? So this journal may be 20 impact factor, uh, but it takes uh, review time, six months to one year. IEEE Comsoc also, communication magazine. Transaction also takes six months to one year. Uh, so IEEE access here, two months. Well, less application later takes uh, two months. So I do, I have done some research here. And how about the cost? So these are free. So this uh, very costly. And you need to check also whether they accept literature review or not. So some accept literature and some are not. So you need to choose wisely. And you rank yourself how difficult the level of uh, acceptance. But uh, although you know it's a high, you can take it as a challenge for you to do the uh, submission. Then you can rank also your journal Q1, Q2, besides targeting the Q1 and Q2, okay, you have listed. Then also you may have some other list of Q3, Q4, Scopus and Conference that you think possible for uh, publications. Me, myself, I have listed in my fields. Uh, so every year I try to update the, the, the list uh, for the uh, targeted journals. So how to publish a good journals? That means how you want to, to write a good manuscript based on uh, 
this tab imrat core so what is tab imrat core is a you must have all these uh, components title abstract and keyword tag imrat is introduction methodology methodology result and discussion and core is conclusion and reference so you must have all these one three five six seven eight elements seven, eight elements in your uh, manuscript so some students ask me where to start from this start imurat core so normally when you have done your research you are doing your research the best way is to to put figure on your method okay to put your your process uh, of your research work let's say uh, Okay, uh, for for me, so normally I start with design a dialect, the antenna, the basic, uh, the new antenna. Then, how it's being uh, fabricated, uh, how the process is done for the antenna. Then after that, you have some results from that, and you discuss it. You put it in the in the results and discussion session yes for second then after you have the methodology and results you go back to the introduction where your comparison of or your superiority of your work is presented here and now and you highlight your contribution or your advantage of your work here and then after that only you make a conclusion of your work and then after that you can go back to the abstract and title and keywords and references so let's see how the title is being uh, selected an effective title should answer the reader's question is this article relevant to me okay so if you want to search for uh, you start your phd you search some keywords uh, and you find uh, and you'll see is this article relevant relevant to me so grab the reader's attention describe the content of a paper using the fewest possible words okay less than 15 or the fewer is better describe and concise use some keywords so of course your title should be easy to understand and precise statement especially in your own field use simple non-bombastic word list down key important words that are central to the paper so this referring to the keywords use online dictionary if needed to get alternative or similar meaning so sometimes so other papers i have published uh, quite similar meaning so you try to use other uh, similar meanings as a title of your work so there's some comparison uh, from my own work uh, so you can see that so aspect of efficiency in reflect areas measurement so this consider a general work okay on reflect area uh, at some aspect of efficiency and measurement but it's still not enough here so here we include some word or for example enhancement of the work uh, with analytical investigation and accurate measurement so we add some additional work 
to specific to specify the work that done in this paper so here is really general uh, title on dielectric resonator antenna for LTE applications but we include here triple band okay for triple implementation and my more additional properties for uh, this work and both of these papers have published in a Q1 journal and here some uh, for the we go for the abstract so abstract is a standalone without abbreviation for notes of reference in one paragraph it should be concise and comprehensive uh, maybe less than 300 words use keywords and index term and of course grammatically correct so here what you did why you did it how the results were useful and important why they are useful so these are uh, things that you need to write in the abstract so these are some uh, okay uh, good guide for writing uh, an abstract so first your aim of or your scope of your work for example here a four element linear dielectric resonator antenna array for beam forming application with mutual copy compensation is proposed so your scope is being described here or your aim uh, of mutual coupling compensation is proposed. So this is the aim of this uh, paper or this, or this abstract. Then the key problem of the work, the effect of mutual coupling on the area beforming has been studied for inter spacing when the main beam is scanned in targeted direction. So we include the, the problem the problem and the theory here. Next, we include the methods here, the two mutual coupling composition methods, such as and uh, is being uh, introduced here. Then we include the uh, findings and results, and we can also include here uh, the the move the move moving forward for uh, the field. So it has been shown here, the errant elements uh, computed using this technique is more effective in compensating the effect of mutual coupling. Okay, so these are the results. So next, TAK, we move for the keyword. Keywords are used in the title and abstract for enhances engine optimization. Keywords link to potential reviewer so this for uh, the editor uh, to choose the uh, potential rewards now we proceed with the uh, how to publish a good journal uh, paper we start with the introduction introduction is a decision of the problem you research it should move step by step should be written in present tense so you compare one by one paper. So this paper has been introduced here. So it has done this. And another paper has done, uh, has done this. Then, okay, you are doing the summary of the maybe five, ten papers. Then you compare it. And, and then, that's, then come a word. However, for example, to show the difference. To show the superiority of you however this work has not done this okay this work has limitation so you are comparing to show that your work is superior than other works so your uh, your paper your your introduction should not less than two pages for example, in IEEE paper, you have uh, maybe two columns, okay? So what I normally do, maybe 
uh, maybe two columns or one page is enough for introduction. And you can also write at the, at the end of your introduction how the article is organized. So section A uh, repeats, uh, show the methodology. Section two show uh, this and blah, blah. And section three and you can, can start there in your uh, paper. So here, the methodology where you, the first thing you want to write in the paper is to go to the uh, methodology. So problem formulation and the proposed solution. So for me, for my antenna design, so I will just put the structure of the proposed solution. Use illustration to clarify ideas, support conclusions. So you can include tables, figures, graph to support your method. So next, your results and discussion. Here, normally for my field, I put the result, sim simulation result and comparing it with the uh, measurement. Demonstrate that you solve the problem or make significant advancement. So the results summarize the data should be clear and concise. Use figure or table with narrative to illustrate finding. Then you make a discussion. Interpret the result why your research offer a new solution and allow it acknowledge any limitation. So here also you can make uh, for comparison or what we call the benchmarking. Okay, so you have the list of other people works you put in a table and you compare it with your work and here you can see your the superiority of your work compared to other work so this is what we call the benchmarking so one of the favorite question for your phd work is benchmarking what are the superiority of your work compared to others normally the final uh, results of your PhD or, or, or my student will put in the final uh, journal paper. And conclusion, explain what the research has achieved as it relates to the problem statement or problem stated in the introduction. Revisit the key point in each session. Include a summary of main findings so provide benefit and shortcoming, suggest uh, future areas for research. So reference, you need to check the kind, uh, how the reference are written. Uh, there are no limits of the reference, but you, are, you need to, to, what we can, to see the uh, journals maybe have a number of limited uh, papers number of pages limitation for example six uh, which include the reference you need to be covered so another things tips here okay so normally okay for me okay, if i want to submit for a journal a so i will include uh, two or three reference from the journal a so if i want to submit for journal c i will include two or three from the journal C. Because of what? Because logically, okay, uh, so if the journal to submit is free, so they want also to increase their uh, citation, their impact factor. So by including this reference, they will, uh, and the paper is accepted, so they will increase the their uh, site number of citation and number of uh, what we call impact factor. So in some general may not affect, but to be safe, this can increase your the what can the chance of publications. So I have uh, for the last one how to publish. So there's some six tips for uh, publication. 
So when your manuscript is ready, do not rush for submission. Stop. Reread, reread, read, read. It crop. Uh, send for uh, to the co-authors and request feedback. Me, okay, myself have a experience on my first journal publication in 2007. So here, okay, for example, I have two supervisors. So at times uh, rejection, uh, so I send for uh, the manuscript uh by two spoils two spices 16 re revision can you imagine so I, I did my phd in france uh so it's not their english uh it's not their pro uh, my supposed problem in english they have a very good english but yeah, i think it's uh my english is very bad during that time so i think the four the first four is just to check the english and the, the four Another four times it based on the uh, technical. And finally, I were able to publish. So select where to publish. So whether you want to have an open access or not, or pay, uh, you need to want to pay or a free uh, journal. So this uh, definition of open access refers to research output which are distributed online and free of course of other barrier. Okay. Other people can access the papers, but some you need to pay. You as a, a author, you need to pay for the paper to be accessed freely by others. So some secret tips to, uh, for publication, uh, free publication. Okay, if you want to free to free to have a free publication. That means you as an author. You don't want to, don't need to pay. So you choose other open, uh, non-open access journal. And although it will take time for publication, it is free. In order to publish in the uh, open access uh, yeah, top journal, okay. So you may need to find some collaborators that can help to pay for you. For example, in other university in the outside of the uh, Malaysia. So there are some universities that subscribe to IEEE so that you can have a joint co-authors and they can pay for your uh, journal. Some journal is free for a certain country to publish. Uh, so it depends. It's maybe not IEEE, maybe other kind of journal, top journal. So find grant university to pay for your application. So some uh, uh, grants can help to pay uh, for your journey. So it's uh, based on the teamwork and collaboration. Unity is strength. When there is a teamwork and collaboration, wonderful things can be achieved. So there's uh, another tips from UK collaborator. I think my friend here, uh, the UK collaborator has come back uh, to Malaysia. Uh, find a collaborator from overseas, UK, US, or maybe, which has institutional partnership. So you can refer to the link. We link and communication, ask to collaborate in the papers. So maybe some will agree and some not. And then if they have agreed, ask them to ask the librarian whether they have link with IEEE or any publisher as MDPI, as Selvia, and etc. Some public publication can get 100% wave, some 50%, 20%, and etc. Normally to get wave, they need to be the corresponding author or maybe just a, a co-author. So you decide whether to work with them or not. So your manuscript is read, ready. Okay, now, so you need to check for the editorial workflow. So you submit your manuscript. So editor as a mean and make an initial uh, decision. So whether it's suitable for that kind of journal or not. So, so you need to choose the correct journal for your submission. So you need to make sure also the format is okay. If not, you will get the uh, editor rejection. So editor rejection, the first thing you need to avoid. 
I also have some experience on ed uh, editor uh, uh, the desk rejection, uh, but maybe because of I'm not sure. I think maybe there is no reward uh, for that kind of journal. So then the uh, the editor level they will send manuscript uh, manuscript to the uh, for the peer review. Then here you have a uh, whether your edition of your paper. Whether it's accepted, rejected, uh, reject and resubmit, major revision for it, uh, needed. So here your paper will be uh, decided. Okay, here uh, tips to publish. First impression is important, especially on the title. So have, we have discussed about the title and abstract uh, before this. So. Make sure you choose the good title and a good abstract to impress the reviewer. And to make sure your, your, your paper is good, uh, uh, English is good, so normally uh, you need to proofread, read, read, and read again. So normally done among authors to save costs. And you can also send it to the professional proofread. So normally, after the journal is being accepted, okay. So I also send so uh, to yeah this example uh, for proofread. I think need to pay. Uh, yeah, depends on the number of uh, words. So here, respond to the editor. So the decision. The paper has been accepted for publication. Yes, we did it. So the next year, uh, what you want, you need to prepare is the cover letter and uh, an updated manuscript. May be accepted. <laughs> okay. So you need to uh, cover to have provide the cover letter, updated manuscript, and answer to reviewer. You need to respond to reviewer properly. Reject and resubmit. Okay, I have uh, a lot of it, but perseverance, not giving up even when it's hard. Okay, you need to prepare a cover letter, updated manuscript, and answer to reviewer. You need to answer it properly point by point uh, based on the river comments reject <laughs> okay don't give up uh, okay great things next time so you move to the next journal next please so this is an example of respond to editor editor edition so maybe uh, for the first submission, you also need to provide the cover letter, which provide the main theme of the paper, title, uh, okay, your uh, your novelty, your relevance of your work, uh, and hopefully that this paper will be accepted. And the cover letter for resubmission, you need to mention the number of the paper. Okay, number paper, uh, the reviewers, and if you want to choose the same reviewers, you can also request uh, to the uh, uh, request for the new reviewers. So there are some templates uh, for answer to reviewers. Okay, so these are reviewers comments, then your response, and then you can write also the, the actual change in the uh, paper. So normally you will provide also the uh, the the paper that uh, highlighted with the change. Okay, to answer to the reviewers, you may agree to the reviewer and you may not agree with the reviewer. You can write it here, but you need if you don't agree, you need to write it politely. Respond politely because your paper edition depends on the reviewer the editor 
will follow the reverse command. If reverse say okay, then editor will say okay, and your paper will be accepted. Okay, your paper depends on the review work. So answer politely and try to answer all the 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 main the things that have been addressed addressed by the reviewers. So finally. Okay, so there are a lot of tips I have given uh, during the this presentation. Uh, you as a student, okay, set target M high. I want to graduate with a uh, publication in high impact journal. I want maybe Q, uh, three Q1 journal in order uh, before I graduate. In order to get that, you must work hard. But work hard, you will increase your stress level. You need to, you still need to enjoy your life. You have, you spend time with family, spend time with your friend. Okay, uh, text your hobby, uh, and take care of your health. It's one more important thing. So do exercise. Don't just, uh, you know, after, after you do uh, did your work, you come back, you sleep. Sleep, eat, sleep, eat, work. Sleep, eat, work. Then you can die very fast. You need to do some exercise. And another important thing is appreciate others. Appreciate your colleagues, your friend, your, uh, the, your lecturer, okay? And again, you come back with your, your set uh, target high to get your uh, success. So that's all for uh, my presentation today. And of course, congratulations when you get uh, published, not only for the top journal, so maybe in the lower rank journal, it's still okay. And here is my contact. If anything, you want to contact me, okay, I email and my phone number. Okay, that's all for my uh, presentation. So, and I hope it beneficial uh, to all of you. Bye-bye.